Hi there, it's Tracy here from the Papercraft Studio. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how I made my Gold Celebrations shaker box. You see how cute is that? It's got, can you see there, um, these little squiggles, this one's in window sheet. It's got a cute little bow at the front and it's all on a, a belly band. And then the box is lidded like that. So let me pop it back together and I'll show you the supplies you need. Let's get this little one back on. I was really pleased with how this came out. So, you know, if you like it and you like my projects, hopefully you might uh, hit the subscribe button below and hit the little bell so that you know when new videos are coming. Okay, so you will need a piece of Ba uh, sorry, <laughs> not basic, my cardstock at all, look at this. Uh, you'll need a piece of bubble bath cardstock and this measures six and a half inches by six and a half inches. You will need a piece of thick basic white cardstock for the lid. Uh, this measures four and nine sixteenths by four and nine sixteenths. I'm sorry, I know we don't love sixteenths, but uh, let me just show you on the trimmer where that is in case you're not sure. Um... So it's just after the four and a half, this little tiny one here. So about, it's almost like 11 and a half centimetres. It's this little one here. So you've got the four and a half and then this tiny one. That's where you're aiming for. And it just means that the lid fits really well. Uh, you'll need another piece of bubble bath um, cardstock. And this measures 10 inches by three and a quarter. So if you cut... Um, the length of the six and a half first you will still be able to get this one you know from alongside um of an a4 piece of cardstock um you need some scraps of gold um foil paper black cardstock and berry burst cardstock you can see i've been cutting confetti here and these are all the little pieces in here i've been cutting them for my class uh what else do we need we need um some more uh basic white thick basic white cardstock to do this little bit round here oh i'll show you the um gorgeous gold celebration uh speciality designer series paper so it's these ones here so it's on page 15 of the catalog in the kind of balloon suite and i don't know i don't know that everyone's going to spot these here but they're amazing Let's get them out here for you so you get three sheets and you'll see that I've chopped away I'm in the opening here, chopped away at the at one of them because I've used them in my class, but you get this um let's show on this side does it show? Yeah, so you get these kind of little celebration swells. You've got gold on one side, silver on the other. It's probably better on white. Let me move this. Um yeah, so gold on one side silver on the other then you get a sheet with these on so little kind of confetti pieces like this again gold on one side silver on the other and then these gorgeous dots as well so I can see I'm going to be using these a lot and for this it's such a teeny tiny amount you just need uh, two and a quarter by two and a quarter inches so you get loads out of one of these and just a little tip i always keep old trimmer blades um that are, they're a bit blunt to cut um cardstock it makes it a bit you know scuffed but i keep them to cut things like um, vellum and window sheets because i find if i use my the one i'm using at the moment it can blunt it a little bit i think so keep an old one um handy for this kind of thing Okay, so let's put that to one side. Um, and then this little piece of designer series paper under here um, is also from the same suite. Uh, this is called Bright and Beautiful. Um, so on one side you get more kind of patterned and it's more muted on this side. And I didn't want anything too busy under here, but I, I wanted something, <laughs> it actually took me ages to work out how to do this. Um, so yeah, so I'm just cutting out of these and I'm using this stitched stylish, stylish shapes. <laughs> Sorry, they're not stitched at all, just stylish shapes. And I'm using, um, 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 it's uh, this one here, the second biggest and the third biggest. Um, I've got them over here ready to go and I've actually 
put washi together to keep them when I was doing my class so that my ladies could easily cut their shape. But yeah, it's the second and third largest there. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, I've marked something else, so I know there is something. Oh, yes. Um, when we come to put the confetti in, um, we're going to use this little um, embossing buddy. And they're quite hard to find now in the catalogue because they don't um, come individually. But it's here on page 136. Uh, and it's embossing additions tool. And you get an embossing buddy. You get a reverse tweezers, a small brush and a... Oh, powder pal that must be the tray um so it's a really good um kit to get for your embossing needs and then finally uh this gold ribbon it comes in a set with some silver it's an online exclusive um so there's a section on my online shop which shows you where to find that the online exclusive and then these are by far my favorite favorite um embellishments this one here look at these uh tinsel gems a three pack I like the four pack too, but these are my kind of colours. And um, they do actually have little bits of tinsel in them. Um, so they're super cute. So I've just popped a couple on there. Right, let's give you uh, some more information here about um, scoring. I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to get my scoreboard out, simply scoreboard. So ignore these little pegs that are on here already because they're for another project. And with the um, the bigger piece, the bubble bath, you're going to score on all sides at two inches. You just keep turning until you've done all four sides at two inches. And then on the smaller piece, and this is why we do slightly odd number, the four and nine sixteenths here, because then it makes it easy, easy for scoring. And especially if you're doing lots you need one of these tools. So we're going to score at one inch on all four sides on this thick basic white piece. Okay, that's all the scoring done. So then we're going to take, I've actually got two sets of these, um, um, what are they called, stylish shape um, sets because I use them so much in classes. So I'm going to take the one that's the same size that I've got together here so the uh, second largest and I'm going to cut out um, one of these pieces from the designer series paper did I show you this um, this is the bright and beautiful designer series paper so you get all different patterns you see it's this one here that I'm using so it's muted on one side patterns on the other love it I've used it so much and I will continue to do so um, so if you're following my videos it will it will feature a lot so i'm going to go ahead and cut one of these and i'm also going to take a scrap of basic white cardstock and like i said i've put these together so you just put one inside the other you could cut uh, the bigger one first and then the smaller one but i just found it easier to pin them together with some washi so i'm going to go ahead and cut that and that i'll be right back okay here we are so i'm just going to press this out and this is my other piece here. So you can see they're going to layer on top of each other. I'm just going to pop my die back before I lose it. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop these together. So, um, oh, I need my piece of window sheet as well. So I've gone ahead and cut this already. Uh, like I said, this was two and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches. And we're going to, so this is the right side. You can see the stitching here. Turn it over. We've got the wrong side there. And we're going to attach that so we see the wrong side this side and we see the right side on that one so I'm going to have the gold showing so I'm going to pop some little dots of glue if you're not confident doing this um, put some in the corner on a bit of scrap or something and just pick up little tiny dots so you're just going to move around and just put some little tiny dots all the way because we don't want this to kind of splurge onto the window sheet because it really doesn't make it um, look good. <laughs> okay, so this is just a bit smaller than the squares we've just cut. So pop that on, just run around with your finger. Try and make sure your fingers are, you know, not too smeary because we don't want it all over there. Okay, and then we're going to use um, these adhesive strips. These are in the catalogue uh, with the, um, 
adhesives, <laughs> funnily enough. And um, I think you get two of these in a pack. I'm not sure, but they last for a long time. So we're just going to take off one of these strips. And what you want to do, um, I think I had one for my class here. Um, we need to end up with this. So we need it to be quite close to the centre um, with no gaps around the edges. So all you need to do is start along one side, like I say, quite near the middle where the window sheet is. And then as you go round, you're just going to snip there. And then you're going to carry on here, but make sure it's butted right up against that next one. OK, so there's no gaps in this corner or any corner, because um, if you do, you're going to lose. Oh, I'll probably cut that a bit short, actually. I have to do this one a bit longer. You're going to lose some of your little. Um, I'm not doing this very well. You're going to lose some of your little confetti. Um, there we go. So my back is coming off because I peeled that back already. I just want it quite near the centre because um, otherwise your little bits of confetti are going to get lost um, and you won't see many. And you can, of course, cut as many, <clears throat> excuse me, um, little bits of confetti as, as you like. Um, this die here is from the, um, the same suite, the balloons. Uh, let me just get this back. Um, it's in the balloons die here. So beautiful balloon bundle, or you can buy the die separately. It's this little die here, and it cuts out these fab little um, uh, little shaker pieces. So um, I've gone ahead. It wasn't that one. <laughs> I've cut mine. Here we go. I put them in a little pot. So I've cut mine in berry burst gold and black. And of course, on the gold, you will get the white um, showing as well. But you can do lots more than that if you wanted to. But I cut these prior to my classes, so I had to cut, you know, over 30 lots. So I wasn't going to do too many because I had to, you know, put this through three times. But it's a fab little die um, and you can use it for cards, shaker cards as well. Um, OK, so the trick here is to put your shaker pieces onto this piece of paper, not into here. Because if you put it in here, as soon as you start pulling these off, they start jumping around and it, it won't be your friend. It'll be irritating. OK, so pop those in there and then on this piece before you stick it down you could do it before you even put those on you're going to take your embossing buddy and you're just going to go over this um, window sheet but also up against the sides of the adhesive strips because you don't want these little pieces sticking to that and it happened on one of mine you can see here they're kind of sticking a little bit I mean this has been used a lot but this little one here is tipped over in white and it's stuck in there <laughs> so just go ahead and move that around and take the backings off like I said it took me a long time <laughs> to figure out I knew I wanted to do a shaker box and I just couldn't get it right in my head I couldn't design it um and then eventually I was like ah I know what to do if I take it off no <laughs> um and yeah it got there in the end so um I was really pleased with how it turned out okay that one's showing a bit under there I didn't really want that but you'll take Ooh, hasn't stuck you'll take more time with this I'm gonna put a bit more glue on here I obviously didn't put it's really hot at the moment in the UK and I'm wondering if that glue just dried out before I actually stuck it down um or before it set anyway so yours will already be set. You won't have to do this bit again, but I'm just going to pop mine down. Oh, it's not, see, this is where you get in a bit of a mess if it hasn't already stuck, but stick it down, please. I'm <laughs> just going to hold it here for a second. I'll come back in a sec. Okay, so this is just going to stick, as it's the same size, directly over the top. I can't really see without getting my head in, so mine might not be quite where it should be but you will be able to put your head over and um get that stick so there we go how cute is that pop that to one side so let's do some cutting and scoring and um, sorry cutting and folding here so you're going to fold on all of the score lines and just give them a burnish with your bone folder open it up fold the next one we're going to do the same on your lid and it's good to have really crisp um, angles on this because obviously we want them to fit really well together 
Okay, so let's start on the lid here. I'm just going to show you my template because we're going to um, we're going to cut on each side and turn it as we go because we don't want, especially on the big one, everything bunching up on just two sides. The kind of folds on just two sides. So by doing it this way, it's probably easier to see on this one, this is what we're going to end up with. But if we just cut these two and these two um, straight down, all the folds would be going onto these two here. And so this would be really bulky here with nothing stuck to these two. So there's there's a reason why we're cutting it this way. So I always start in the bottom right hand corner because I'm right handed. If you're left handed, I would start over here. But you're going to cut up the score line here. And then we're going to do my little flower pots. So you're going to come in at the bottom, cut up into the corner and the same on this one. You see, and that's why I call it a flower pot because that's what it looks like. <laughs> and then you're going to rotate it once. So you've now got the flower pot facing that way and you're going to do the same here. So in this bottom right hand corner, cut up the score line and then flower pot. Okay, so now you're going to rotate it. So now you've got this and a, a new square down in this corner cut up the score line coming at the bottom up into the corner and the same on this side and you keep doing that until you've gone round all four corners okay uh hopefully it won't be too confusing and um, i know sometimes in my class they're like oh so i draw little lines on there for them but uh, i'm going to put this down that's what you need to end up with okay so you always work in this corner then rotate it once do this corner again, rotate it once, and then so on until you get to here. Now, similar on this one, we're going to chop a bit more off because it is quite big and bulky. So cut up the score line in this right-hand corner. It's probably looking on a different side um, because you're looking <laughs> through the lens on, on here. And then I'm going to cut up and then do my flower pots. These are obviously really big flower pots. And then I'm going to take about half of this off as well. Okay, because we don't need that whole bit coming round. It's just too much. So then rotate it once. So this bit's now top right corner. We're gonna work on the top, uh, sorry, the bottom right. So cut up to the score line, straight up. And then on this square, you're going to flower pot. And they don't have to be perfectly even. And at this stage then, again, we're going to chop half of that off about half doesn't have to be perfect turn again so we're now working again on this bottom corner up come in at the bottom up to the corner again the same on this one chop off about half and then on the last one straight up now we're from out. And any of this, rewind me, pause me, <laughs> I don't mind <laughs> um, if you're finding it all a bit confusing, but that's what you want to end up with. Okay, and then I use tape, but if you use glue, just do one of these at a time, but I like to use tape on my 3D projects. So you're going to put a couple of strips, so we've got it this, oops, sorry, I'm just going to show you this way up as if it would make a little table. If it's this way, it's like a little turtle on its back. Uh, this is like a little table. So on the table side, like this, I'm just going to get rid of that bit because I've got some cardstock on it. You're just going to pop some, oops, mine's torn somewhere else, some tear and tape on each of these smaller tabs. So I'm putting a couple of strips on each one. And then if you're using um, if you're using tape, it's fine to take them all off now. If you're using glue, just do one at a time. And what's going to happen is this folded edge here is going to meet this straight edge here and it's going to fold into the center like that. So if you're using glue, just hold it for a little bit. Um, but if you're using tape, we can go ahead and take them all off now. And then, like I said, we're going to put can cut that very well. This folded edge here with this straight edge here. So you're tucking the one with the tape in underneath and just making these corners all the way around. So tuck the tape.
tape inside and then line up these edges and take your time because they need to be quite straight okay and we're going to do the same on the lid now with the lid um you can also do two strips here you see we haven't cut any extra bits off two strips but just for speed for the video i'm just going to do some diagonally across here because you know you're probably bored of watching me put tape on and take it off <laughs> and take the backing off anyway Okay, so same again, like I say, if you're using glue, do one at a time. And then similar thing, the well, same thing, you're gonna, that folded edge, that straight edge. And take your time to build it round. And if you put more tape on, you won't get little gaps like this here. If you do find that, either pop a glue dot in or pop a bit of glue in there and then when you go to put the lid on don't try and put too too much down one end it just won't fit put all four corners kind of roughly on top first and then it will fit okay so there we go so now with the uh, belly band where did I put mine uh, okay I'm not sure this is it but I'm going to use this maybe it is oh yeah it is Okay, how I did this, I just put it on the bottom here. Pop your box on top. And then as you start to fold round, so you're going to have it in the centre at the bottom, just give it a little pinch on the side as you as you come round the corner. Same on this side, little pinch and over the top. And it doesn't matter, you can see mine's not kind of perfectly even at the top here. Um, and what you want to do is make sure that it's, fairly secure but you don't want it so tight that you can't move it okay so take it off and just go over your folds with your bone folder and just make sure they're lined up when you when you do this they tend to kind of go off a little bit so just bring it back to where you want it to be go over that do you know i think this would make well i'd like to get this box with some jewelry in or something or some money um but i think it would make a fair present uh, a, a fab gift box for that or for a little christening gift or a wedding gift um really really cute okay so i'm going to come in and i'm going to put some tape it doesn't really matter which one on the inside of this bit here okay so that's going to come around and secure that i tend to use tape because um i know then it's it's stuck for sure so bring that round and like i say not too tight but tight enough that you can still, ooh, that's a bit tight, <laughs> but you can still slide it, okay. And again, when you put the belly band on, make sure you put it on at all four sides like this together, all four corners, because if, you, if you've if you got it slightly too much over one side, you're never gonna get it to stretch across there, okay. So that's my little tip there, all four corners, and it will just slide back on she says <laughs> so get it roughly um in the center here on both sides and then we're going to go ahead and put our shaker on so to do this we're just going to put another bit of tape across the top um or of course glue press it down take the backing off and then because we've centered this this is going to hide that join um you're just going to put this in the center along the top and if you want to make it more secure just take it off and give it a pinch along there pop this back on it's so cute i love this box and you can do it in all different colors obviously you can use different designer series paper underneath you don't have to use this um patterned window sheet but i think it makes all the difference because it looks more kind of cele cele celebratory <laughs> i can think i can get the word out then Okay, so like I said, we're going to use this uh, gold ribbon and you need about about um, eight inches, I'd say, to tie a bow. Did I put eight inches? That's normally my thing, I think. So cut that off here and you can trim it to how you want. And with this, I've just done bunny ears bow. So I've just put two loops here and tied those loops in a knot you can just do a regular bow um, if you want to, but like I say, just doing bunny ears on this one because, because I can, <laughs> basically, and I find it a bit easier here. So two loops, got them in my thumbs there, and then those loops are going to then tie together through that little 
hole there. So that's far too big for me. And then you just hold the knot and pull on the ends until you've got the size loops you want. And just keep doing that until you've got the right size. I quite like mine small. And then I've squished them down a bit. So just push them again, just to make those loops beautiful again. And I'm just going to put it on one of the sides that doesn't have this belly band on there. Um, so I'm going to use a glue dot that's rolled up. Gosh, it's so hot. Mine are a bit um, stringy tonight because I've got a little mini heat wave here in the UK. Not, not a fan of them myself. And um, for those that know me, you will know that really well. Okay, and then we're just going to pop this on the uh, side of the box here. That's really sticky, that one. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim these little ends. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, I'll do this then. I'll be like, oh, it's a bit too much. It's like cutting a fringe, isn't it? And then just keep going and it's getting shorter and shorter. Um, okay, and then the gorgeous little dots here, tinsel dots. And you could choose any of these, actually. They all go really well. That green looks gorgeous on there as well. But I'm going to get one of the bigger pink ones here. And then one of the smaller ones. Be careful not to crush your box like I nearly just did there. And there you have it. My gold celebration shaker box. I really hope you enjoy making that. Take care. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>